or who writes the history for that? And then there's the other thing. Uh, what is historical truth compared to scientific truth? Every country writes history to suit itself. Uh, even contemporary history. I've lived in Ireland for six years, and we got six television stations there, two from England, two from Ireland, and two from Northern Ireland. <laughs> and if you look at the news any evening, you get uh, three different versions of every news story. You get the English version, the Northern Irish version, which is Scotch-Irish uh, capitalism, uh, the, owners, the owner class of Northern Ireland. You know, get the point of view of the worker class of Northern Ireland. That's the uh, Catholic population up there, most of whom support the IRA, a little bit in public. But somebody keeps running the guns of the IRA, and somebody opens the doors to help them run through alleys when they're being chased by the police and so on. And uh, then we get the Irish point of view. And so there's no such, uh, living in Ireland for six years, it's, uh, there's no such thing as a news story. Uh, what there is is the English news story, the uh, Northern Irish news story, and the Irish news story. And uh, all three of those happen to agree in one way, uh, that they tend to report events in the Near East in a way that seems fairly impartial to me. They give the Israeli side and the Arab side about equal time. And the first thing you notice when you come back to the United States is the Arab side has ceased to exist. The media here has never heard that the Arabs have anything to be said on their side at all. Uh, but in, uh, so that's, that's a fourth reality tunnel. <laughs> this is the Irish, the English, the Northern Irish, and the American uh, give you four different reality tunnels on the Near East. On Irish television, you hear a great deal about the crimes being committed uh, by the terrorists uh, in Central America that are supported by the CIA. In this country, you hear comparatively little about that, and you very seldom hear that they're supported by the CIA. So again, there are different reality models about what's going on. The people down in Central America have an entirely different reality model about what's happening to them, I'm sure. I've been told what most of them believe down there is that there's a war going on between rival gangs of cocaine smugglers and the United States keeps giving money to whichever gang of cocaine smugglers convinces them they're most likely to support the American corporations there. <laughs> Maybe that's what's both really going on. 